In this video, I'm showing you a Notion template which you can use to track all your projects and project tasks by using a progress bar that automatically updates every time you complete the task. I'm first going to show you how it works, how you can integrate it into your Notion workspace, as well as a pro tip that will improve your productivity when using this progress bar. After I show you all of these, I will show you how to create the progress bar and how the rather complex formula used for the progress bar actually works. With that out of the way, let's begin. This project progress tracker consists of two tables. The first one is for your projects and the second table is all the tasks within your projects. The way this works is really simple. You have a relation between these two tables. So if you have a project in the first table, you can add that project as a relation for each of your tasks. The project table counts how many tasks is inside the project and then with the use of a formula it will show you a progress bar that automatically updates every time you complete a task. As you can see for this project I have 4 tasks with 2 of them already complete which is why the progress bar is at 50%. If I complete one more task the progress bar will update to 75% and if I complete all of them the project will move to the completed task view and will have a check mark indicating the project is complete. Here is an example of how I've integrated this progress bar into my Notion workspace. As you can see I have this progress bar as a linked database inside my Notion dashboard so I can easily view the progress and manage all my tasks. Now if you want to add tasks to this project simply just open this project as a page and then create a linked database connecting to the tasks table inside your progress tracker. As you can see all of the tasks are added and if I add multiple projects with multiple tasks then all of the tasks will be here but we just want to filter this to only show tasks that are related to this specific project. And now with the help of this filter every time you create a task it will automatically be related to this project. Another tip is to make use of templates when you create your projects. So if I create a new project, maybe it's for a new YouTube video, then I can open this as a page. And as you can see, I already have two templates added, one for YouTube and one for my Instagram page. But I'm just going to click on YouTube. So inside of this YouTube template, I already have a linked database connecting to the tasks view. And if I just show you the relations, every time I add a new task, as you can see, it's already related to this project. So you can create new templates, one say for your personal life, one for your job, and then each of them will have its own icon. So in the project view, you will see the YouTube project as an icon, but not the previous project. And you just have to set up the link database and the filter once, and then you can just click a button. Now that you know how it works and how you can use it in your Notion dashboard, let me actually show you how to create this progress bar. You want to start by creating two tables, one for projects and one for tasks. In your tasks table you will have a name property and will also need a checkbox property to check off all the completed tasks. The date property for the deadline is optional. Then in your projects table you will have a name property and you can also add a category property if you want. Then you want to add a new relation and connect it to your tasks database. When the relation is added, you will also see a relation property under your tasks table. Now you want to add a rollup called progress. Configure this rollup and choose the relation for the first option, your checkbox property as the second option and under calculate make sure it is checked. Now add a second rollup called total. You also want to choose the relation. And then instead of the checkbox property you want to choose the name property and under calculate make sure it is count all. The last and most important part is of course the progress bar. So go ahead and create a new formula and then click on edit formula. As you can see it's quite a long formula but I'll quickly explain how it works. First it takes the progress rollup, divides it by the total rollup. If the value is above or equal to 1, which in this case would mean that 5 out of the 5 tasks has been completed, then the check mark shows as a value. And if the value is less than 100%, then you get the rest of the formula. You will see there are two instances where the circles are used. The full circles gets replaced by the empty circles every time the value gets closer to 100%. 
These symbols and this check mark can be replaced by other symbols. You can use bars, squares, hearts and even emojis. Just make sure that whatever you replace the circles with, there are 10 of each. So 10 full circles, 10 empty circles or whatever symbol you're gonna use. I will leave a link in the description to find a whole page full of symbols just like this. And then also another important thing to keep in mind is the roll up name. So the names used in the formula should be an exact match to the names inside of this project table. So if you're going to use this formula just make sure all of your properties have the same name as my properties. When you have entered everything correctly you should have a working progress bar. Now you can add new projects as well as project tasks, add the relation and if you complete the task the progress bar should update. You can also create a linked database and use the template and filter tips I showed you in the beginning to have a fully functional project progress tracker in your Notion dashboard. You can download this template through the link in the description which will take you to my Buy Me A Coffee website where I sell all my Notion templates and dashboards since they do take a lot of time to create so you don't have to. All the support I get is massively appreciated as it really does help my small channel and allows me to keep creating new templates and YouTube videos for you to enjoy and learn from. If you found value in this video be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing for more. With that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.